So you've seen the, the videos where people lift blankets up and they disappear. I've made a tutorial to show you how to do it. It's quite simple. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, enable the notifications and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I have my two clips here. Um, the top clip, I have it with me in it. And the bottom clip is just an empty clip, which I'll show you here. Okay. So just to show you how I actually did this, um, the camera has to be in the exact same position, lighting exactly the same, or else you're going to have difficulties blending it in properly. So I'm just going to let you watch this quickly. Okay, so you can see there I jumped out the way, I didn't get in the way of the blanket, and the blanket fell all smoothly on the um, on the sofa there. Okay, so I'm going back to the front. Now what I want to do, I want to move all the way down until I start moving the blanket. So you can see here that I've moved it to the side. So just watch that and the side there. So when you do make your mask, you just want to make sure that the whole blanket stays in the, the actual uh, shot itself. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to start my mask now. Push G on the keyboard or go up here to your pen tool. Select your top layer, the one with you in it that you want to make disappear. And basically I'm just going to create the mask here. Just make a couple, a few um, anchors there just to make sure <clears throat> just to make sure that you have enough of them for the whole thing when the blanket's going up. And what you want to do, you want to mask, you want to path the mask. So go down to the mask and you can see here mask path. Just hit the stopwatch so it creates a keyframe. And then what you want to do, hit page down. You want to do this frame by frame, unfortunately. So just making sure that it stays in. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to deselect that and then I'm just going to go up and select the separate points. And page, paging down just to make sure the blanket stays in the mask there. I'm going to do it quite quickly here because I don't think there will be any issues. Okay, so let me speed forwards like this now. Okay, so one thing to remember when you are doing this, just make sure you're watching the, the top anchors as well, because when you lift it up, uh, it needs to be covered over here as well. Okay, so let's move these in slowly now. So like that, I'm going to move this one down actually, because I'm going to need that one soon. So because I'm running to my right there which is our left don't worry too much about this side um, but just keep an eye on it just to double check and make sure okay so I'm gonna page down page down and as soon as I start lifting it up there we go so what we want is these keyframes to be at the bottom of the blanket just gonna bring that one there that one doesn't have to be perfect just yet because he hasn't lifted it. Okay, there we go. So now what we want, we want my feet to disappear. So just pull in the mask up and you can see here it's making all the keyframes frame by frame. It is a long process, but the results are well worth it. And just keep on going along like this and because it is frame by frame it does go super quickly so you don't have to worry too much it doesn't have to be precise um, but try and get it as best as you can just to make sure you're doing a perfect job and I'll keep going like that I'll move this one into there that one there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just so you don't have to watch me keyframe this whole thing, I'll just do this one more. 
and then I'll speed it forwards until the blanket starts falling down which I'll show you an easy way to to follow it because it can be a bit confusing because you can't see the blanket you can't see the, the outside area okay so I'm going to speed forwards now I'll see you in a few seconds Okay, so the blanket's gone up. It's slowly starting to come down. But now the problem is we aren't going to see the blanket if it comes out of this area here that we've masked off. So a little trick to do, go down to your mask in your layer and invert it. Okay, so what you can see now, whenever the blanket comes out of the mask, you'll be able to move your anchor points. Let me get the example. It's a bigger example. Yeah, you can see it popping out just over there, so just make sure you have it covered. Just like that. As again, as I said um, towards the beginning, don't worry too much about this part. So we can actually move those down a lot more just because we know I'm not going to be on that side. So that one will just move down there. So this makes it a lot easier, as you can see, the inverting it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward again, just get to the end and show you how to touch it up just that little bit more to make it a little bit more um, mixed in so it looks a bit more realistic, okay, without the shadows and stuff. So I'll see you again soon. Okay, so I've inverted it. I've taken the invert off again so I can see the blanket or else I'm going to be keyframing for nothing. And the blanket has settled down now on the actual sofa itself. I'm just going to move that down so it can get the whole bottom of the sofa. And there we go. Let's just double check that. Yep, so that's looking good. That's all the way to the end. Okay, so what we want to do, let's just watch that quickly. Um, I'm just going to... Okay, so I've let it render through. So let's just watch it and see if we can spot the mistakes, which there are a few. Okay, so one thing I've spotted, don't know if you spotted it, you see the hard lines just over there. What we need to do, we need to feather that. So go into your, your mask again, just down here, and you can see the feathering. So just move it about so it feathers out and kind of blends in a bit more. Um, I've got mine at 45 pixels at the moment, so I just want to see if that works out well. Because don't forget, the blanket does have a shadow as well, so you don't want to go over the shadow, um, or else it's just not going to look real at all. It just look as if it's been put there. Yeah, so that's a shadow that's falling down because of the lighting. But I think we have done a perfect job here. Okay, thank you guys.